Pocatello and Chubbuck have been struggling for months now to resolve their school boundary issue, but they're not the only ones. Since December, Fremont County School District and Sugar Salem School District have been dealing with the boundary issue of their own. KPBI News that works for your reporter Rachel Cox Rosen headed to the city of Teton to learn more in education. <laughs> Tiffany Sainer is a mother of seven. She was told when she bought her home in Sugar City that she was in the Sugar Salem School District. So she set up accommodations for her oldest son, who has autism. I'm like, I'm in the school district I want. He's, you know, he has a, finally, he has a one-on-one -on -one aid. We are going places. Turned out she was in Fremont County. So Sainer decided to try to petition to switch her quadrant to the Sugar Salem School District. But it got bigger than that. There are a lot of families who live in Teton that send their kids to Sugar. Singer's petition ended up getting around 100 signatures. In December, she and a friend presented the boundary changes to the state board. This map shows the affected areas outlined in bright red. It proposes moving this land, which is hundreds of acres, from the Fremont School District to the Sugar Salem School District. Advocates for the change say it makes sense as many kids who live in Fremont County go to a school in the Sugar Salem District anyway. And they say it will help bring more tax revenue to Sugar Salem. We don't have much business. We don't have any tourism, no vacation property in our district at all. So we're much poorer. A final decision on the boundary changes will be made by the people living in the affected area. They'll vote yes or no on the changes in the May election. If the annexation were to pass, the new boundary lines would cut right through the middle of the city of Teton and through Teton Elementary School. A small town like this uh, really does center around a school, and uh, I think it's important that we stay that way. Sainer says she never meant for this issue to get so divisive. She and the others who signed the petition just want to do what's right for them and their families. Rachel Cox Rosen, KPVI News, that works for you. Sainer says she's not sure how many will show up to vote, but she thinks that whatever happens, it will be close.